What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jason the Blogging Rapper here and in today's video we are going to look at the final list of games that were that was announced for the Sega Genesis Mini. I've never talked about the Sega Genesis Mini on this channel before but let me just start off by saying I am an insane Sega fan. As if this has nothing to do about it right here, my man. You know that's what I'm all about. But uh, if you don't know, I am a true Sega nerd. Um, Gen uh, from the Genesis days all the way to the Dreamcast days, huge Sega nerd. And so seeing that finally Sega themselves are working on a mini console instead of at games is a huge relief for me and a huge relief for every Sega fan out there. We are all given a nice, long, satisfied sigh of relief um and so let's take a look at the games in total and especially the last game last few games that have been announced check it out all right so here it is on the official sega genesis website the, or the genesis mini website right on sega.com um so yeah since all of the games are announced we're getting closer and closer to the release date of september 19th uh, we're in june but you know it's it's still closer than it was a few days ago <laughs> so anyway um, as you can see for scale, how small the Genesis is going to look compared to the original. Um, but that's amazing. Now, I was, it, I know it's a pipe dream, but I was sort of kind of hoping that the, the, the cartridge tray here was, you know, was, 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 we were able to play our own Genesis titles. Like we just slap it up on there and play it. But as you can see for scale, it is not wide enough. So no cartridge is going to fit in there. And even if it was wide enough, Sega didn't say anything about it. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Uh, but either way, the game's lineup is iconic and beautiful, amazing, showing some of the best. Here's a f I will talk about a few titles that I wish they had included, but overall, I'm very satisfied. Now, Echo the Dolphin, I've never played personally. I only played Echo the Dolphin when it came out on the Sega G uh, Dreamcast. Uh, because I always wanted to know about Echo, and I had been given a demo of it to play. Um, so the original classic, I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, I'm not going to talk about every title here, because most people have already talked about it, but I'm just going to tell you the titles here that I'm excited for. Uh, moving on, Dr. Robotnik's Me Bee Machine. Now, this is sort of a Puyo Puyo um, you know, clone, essentially, uh, using these... Sonic Universe from the, the characters from the uh, the weekday animated series, the one with Jaleel White, and it was real goofy. They had Scratch and Grounder and Coconuts, as you can see right on the cover here. Um, so that's pretty interesting that they adapted that cartoon into this kind of uh, this kind of game. Now I actually played this on Sega Game Gear, not the Genesis. I didn't even know they had it for Genesis, but I played it on Game Gear and I loved it. Toe Jam and Earl, another title that I never actually personally played, but I've always wanted to. It was a staple for the Genesis, and everyone talked about it. I just never had the opportunity to. They essentially, this game was essentially the epitome of the coolness of the 90s. So I am definitely looking forward to playing that finally. Um, Comic Zone, this is one that I played frequently. I didn't have it, but my cousin uh, in Florida, he did have it. So every single time I went to visit him, I'd play Comic Zone from sunup to sundown. Never could beat it, but <laughs> but my cousin did. And basically, it's a, a, a comic book artist named Sketch Turner. Uh, get it? Sketch Turner, like Page Turner. Um, and he gets drawn, he gets sucked into a comic book. That he's illustrating for this villain that he created came to life brought him into the comic book world and you have to every every level that you create i mean every level that you beat you get closer and closer to becoming the superhero that you designed so that's pretty sweet never got a chance to be the superhero uh and of course sonic the hedgehog the original you know you got to have that in there who has not played it but hey when it comes to being on a genesis mini you can't have any Genesis without the original Sonic the Hedgehog. That's a given. Alter Beast, another one. This was a pack-in title at one time for the Genesis. And so, you know, if you have if you ever own a Genesis, nine times out of ten, you've most likely played Alter Beast. I used to be scared of this game when I was a little kid. Um, but, you know, in recent years, I've been playing it and hey, I, I dig it. <laughs> uh, Gunstar Heroes is a really good one. I never had a chance to play it, but I've heard so much about it. 
Castle of Illu no Castle of World of Illusion. Okay, so the two Mickey Mouse titles that actually is incredible that they're bringing it to the Genesis Mini. But I remember I have very fond memories of playing not Castle of Illusion but World of Illusion because my cousin, um, not the one in Florida, the one that lived with me, um, he had this game on the Sega Genesis, and I'd go to his because we were in a split apartment house. So I go to his apartment every almost every day uh, to play this game. Uh, he'd be Mickey Mouse, I'd be Donald Duck. Playing co-op was amazing on this game. I loved playing two players on World of Illusion with two of the most iconic characters of all time. Couldn't beat it. World of Illusion, definitely excited for that. Uh, let's see, what else am I excited for? Shinobi 3, of course. Um, never played it, but I, I'm dying to, so that's great. Streets of Rage 2, that, the classic beat-em-up, you got it, you have to be excited about that. I am super excited. The whole arcade experience right there on a the home console back in the 90s, and once again, is going to be incredible. Earthworm Jim, again, another game I haven't played, but who has not heard of Earthworm Jim? Now you're saying, man, there's a lot of titles that you haven't personally played. Yeah, I mean, I was a kid, I couldn't buy them myself, so... <laughs> There you go. Um, but yeah, Earthworm Jim, so, 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 so excited to be able to play this. I mean, of course you could get, uh, you know, ROMs and stuff like that on, you know, there's, they, they've been in several collections, um, you know, over the last several years. But to be on this Genesis Mini, it's going to be incredible. Because it gives you that feel of, like, you're back in the 90s holding that Ge Sega Genesis Model 1 controller again. That's, mm, can't wait. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, this is where I'm going to say that I'm slightly disappointed. Um, when you go through the rest of the titles, you're going to notice that they have Sonic 1, Sonic 2, but they don't have Sonic 3. Now, I could be okay with not having Sonic and Knuckles because, you know, how can you include the... You could include the lock-in technology in there, but the whole, that whole Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, trilogy should have been in there. So, I am disappointed that they don't have Sonic 3. I get that they have such an expensive category uh, catalog, and they could only include a certain amount. I mean, they they have a limit apparently, but um, I just I just feel like they could have put in Sonic the Hedgehog three. If they had to dismiss Sonic and Knuckles, that'd be a bummer too, but it'd be more standable, understandable. I just feel like how can you have Sonic one and two, but not three? You know what I'm saying? So, a bit disappointing. I'm glad Sonic 2 is in there. I just wish that Sonic 3 was in there as well. Uh, Contra Hardcore. Um, I've never, I've, I've only played Super Contra for the NES, so I've never played on the Genesis. So I'm excited about that. Uh, let's see what else is there. Ghouls and Ghosts. Another game that I didn't play, um, only because I was scared of it. I was a bit of a scaredy cat when I was a kid. The 90s was kind of frightening for me. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so Alex Kidd, excited about that. Another game I haven't played. Golden Axe, I've played that, I believe. But again, another beat-em-up. Really, really happy to see that in there. Fantasy Star 4. Now, I've never played Fantasy Star. Hey, you're noticing a trend here. Um, but I've played Fantasy Star online for the Sega Dreamcast, and I became an instant fan of Fantasy Star. So going back to play some of the classics that led up to Fantasy Star Online is definitely on my bucket list. So I'm really happy about this being on there. And Street Fighter, oof, the Special Champion Edition. I'm really happy about this. Sorry, uh, Street Fighter 2. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Of course, I played it. Uh, Mega Man, The Wily Wars. Now this is incredible. This thing come to the States. It was a Japan only thing. And the whole thing with Capcom not really being featured so much. Well, they were featured on the Genesis, but none of their Mega Man games made it stateside. So this is so amazing because this is a compilation, I think, of the first five games. I could be wrong, but this is a compilation, The Wily Wars. I have to play this. Now, here, here's the thing that I'm going to go back to Sonic the Hedgehog for a moment. I had Sonic Spinball. In fact, it was the first title I got with my Genesis, and I it's a good game. It's actually it's funny because um even though you see, you know, the classic Dr. Eggman on the cover here, little little um tidbit, little bit of info for you. The game itself is based on the Sonic Saturday morning uh universe, otherwise known as Sat AM. For those who are real Sonic the Hedgehog nerds, you know what I'm talking about. So what's interesting is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is based on the weekday silly cartoon that came out with Julia White, even though they have, yeah, they got the correct characters on the cover here. 
But on Sonic Spinball, this was based on the Saturday morning cartoon, also with Julia White. Uh, the Saturday morning cartoon is more serious, definitely a lot better. But they don't have the right Robotnik in the front, so bit weird. But anyway, I'm glad to see these games on here, but I just feel like, you know what? If they were going to include two additional Sonic titles, why include Sonic Spinball and Dr. Mean, uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? I, Sonic Spinball just doesn't grab me as like it a must-have. And same thing with Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. If we had to include two additional Sonic games, why not include Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles? That whole lock-on technology... Even though you could do it as a software thing, the lock the lock on technology was huge in the '90s. That was a big push, and why so many people got the G, uh, the Genesis back in the day, especially if you were a Sonic fan. The ability to do that was like phenomenal. So why why throw these two in there? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Um, I felt like they could have just done three and then Sonic and Knuckles, but whatever. All right, so Vector Man. Um, guess what? Another game I haven't played, <laughs> but of course I've known about it, dying to play it. This, this system's going to be like, I'm reliving my childhood and I'm going to get to play all the games I never got to play when I was a kid. So, yes. Um, let's see, Virtual Fighter 2, even though it's really Virtual Fighter 1 from what I hear. Um, I'm excited to play this. It's not particularly 3D, but it's 3-ish. So, you'll have fun with that, I'm sure. Uh, let's see what else I'm excited for. Look, they got Columns, which was announced today. They got Columns, but they also had to include Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. Now, that's a whole different thing. Columns is more of a Tetris, not a clone, but like just trying, well, I guess it's the clone. Um, it was Sega's version because they couldn't get Tetris um, at the time that they were releasing this. But, but wait a minute. Here's Tetris. <laughs> so, you got, so... How did that work? Again, this Tetris, this for for this here was actually another Genesis only. I mean, I'm sorry, a Japan only game. It did not come stateside. Stateside, you had you could only play Tetris on the Game Boy and the NES. So yeah, this Sega decided to do columns, but you know, hey, you got Tetris, you got columns, you got Doctor Robotics Mean Bean Machine now. Are there that many puzzle fans that you needed to do that and then not include, again, going to sound a little butthurt here, but Sonic 3 and Sonic & Knuckles, you couldn't put that in there? Especially if you included two bonus titles. Again, the Genesis has a massive library of games, so I completely understand that they have to make certain cuts, but Genesis was where Sonic was best at. It was where he started. It was where he thrived and dominated. It was where the whole um, the whole thing with Sonic versus Mario, who's the better mascot, that's where that whole beef really grew from the Genesis and Super NES era. Um, so really, I think they should have made room for that. Um, yeah, so other than that, there's nothing else. Oh, Eternal Champions. Now this was a bit of an obscure game if you weren't, you know, really in the know about this. The only reason why I knew about this game was because, of course, my cousin in Florida um, had this game. <clears throat> and it was a bit of an enigma. It, it, it was weird. It was supposed to be like Mortal Kombat, a little more mature. Um, but characters that just didn't really, they weren't well known. So, but I actually loved this game. I played this and I played it often. Uh, the the combat system, like the moves and all that, were pretty interesting. Kind of hard to master, but once you did, you were you know you could do really good with it. Um, but I did like certain characters in this game, and I just personally loved it. It was a, it was one of those that you know um, uh, you just you love it or hate it. But I I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, so Darius is supposed to be a big deal, but I don't know too much about it other than you know it's a side scroller. Um, so yeah, so overall, I am extremely, extremely excited about this. I think Sega doing it is amazing. They're finally, this is something right from the house of Sega, from the house of the hedgehog. And I am so happy for it. Overall, the game's collection is amazing. I would have liked to have also seen X-Men 1 and X-Men 2, the Clone Wars. That would have been great to be in here as well. And, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Where are the sports titles? That's another thing. Where are the sports titles? Um, yeah, I don't really see any here. You got one, two, three, basically three puzzle games, but no sports titles. And when I'm thinking sports titles, I'm thinking one of the biggest ones that hit the Genesis in the day, and that was NBA Jam. There's no NBA Jam here. Not even one. So that's also pretty disappointing. Also, consider the fact that NBA Jam recently made a comeback on the mobile scene. So you could get NBA Jam, um, a version of that, on the App Store or the Google Play Store and play NBA Jam. I remember, you know, playing that game and running around with like giant heads and stuff like that. That was really cool for the time um, using a cheat code. But why not include it on the Genesis? It was a big thing on the Genesis. Um, X-Men was a big thing as well. I remember seeing it on commercials. Uh, another game I was thinking of that why isn't it here is OutRun. I don't think it's in here unless I'm mistaken, but I don't see OutRun. So um, why is that on there? not on here? Um, so yeah, a few disappointments, but overall, extremely excited. I'm going to have a blast. It'd be cool if they had like a software update where they can include more so more games or whatever, but I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Do you agree or disagree? What games would you like to see on the Genesis Mini that did not make the cut? And let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to talk about it with you guys. Um, as always, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell notification to get updated on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Jason, the blogging rapper. Much love, God bless, and as always, you know, peace.